In this video, we're going to be discussing the Pittsburgh Penguins. They made a trade over the weekend, which we're going to take a look at and analyze. And we're also going to look at some other moves they should consider making in the near future. And that's coming up next. Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you want to keep up with all the latest NHL news, stats, analysis of all 31 NHL teams, then consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. So as we mentioned in the opening, the Pittsburgh Penguins have made a trade with the Detroit Red Wings. They've picked up Riley Sheehan in exchange for Scott Wilson. Now I do believe there was draft picks going either way as well, but obviously the Penguins needed somebody to play third line center. It looks like Sheehan's going to be their guy. So far in his career, Riley Sheehan's played only with the Detroit Red Wings, starting up for 292 games and tallying 98 points. Now it was well documented the last season was a very much a struggle for Riley Sheehan. Had a very tough time, didn't score his first goal until very late in the season. Obviously this is going to probably be a little bit of a project for the Penguins, hoping he can revive his career. Hopefully a change in scenery going from Detroit, who really had a terrible year last year, to the Stanley Cup champions will obviously give him a boost, hopefully playing with some better players. Sheehan's only 25 years old and is scheduled to make $2 million this year. This is the last year in the contract currently, so he's scheduled to become a restricted free agent after the season. Obviously this gives the Penguins some uh, flexibility here. They can kind of try him out, see how things go, if he's a good fit with the club. If things work out, they can consider signing him longer term, either during the season or at the end of the season. If things don't work out, at least they're not committed to a big contract long term. So this gives them the, a bump up in their forward depth and it also gives them financial flexibility going forward as they only now have 686000 left in cap space. Obviously picking up Sheehan was a pretty decent move but he's a higher paid player than Scott Wilson. Scott Wilson going out was only making 600000 so their overall payroll just went up by 1.4 overall for their uh, for the cap space. So they're very tight to the cap so making additional moves might prove difficult. Speaking of additional moves, it's hard to say exactly what the Penguins will do, but one move that they need to take a look at is improving their backup goaltender. Obviously, their goaltending this year hasn't been fantastic. Matt Murray certainly played pretty decent. Uh, with a, you know, He has five wins, hasn't lost in regulation yet, but if you look at his goals against in a save percentage, they're not fantastic. But if you look around the league, with the amount of scoring that's been going on, you know, really overall, he hasn't played that badly. But now Antti Niemi at the backup has been absolutely terrible. I'm not sure what the Penguins were thinking when they signed this guy. Obviously his last few years playing with the Dallas Stars haven't been good. A goaltending tandem like Murray and Fleury just is not a luxury they can have anymore and really it's not one they can afford to have either. Obviously they signed Niemi for fairly cheap money but it's just not working out. He's only played three games, they've lost in regulation each time giving up a whopping 16 goals. So basically, you can pretty much bank on if the Niemi's in net, the Pens are going to get blown out. I don't really know what the Pens' options are at the goaltending position, but obviously, in my opinion, Niemi needs to go. If they're going to have a chance to contend for a third consecutive Stanley Cup, they need a backup who can be relied upon for a little bit more than Niemi. I mean, a backup goalie in, in this league really needs to play around at least 20 games uh, for the starter to have proper rest and uh, proper success for long term, especially if you're going to make a long playoff run. I'm not sure what the best option here is. Maybe they can take a look at something like uh, the Habs did with Mark Streit and do uh, unconditional waivers for, for uh, uh, terminating the contract. I'm not sure if that's uh, an option, but they need to take a look at that. Maybe bringing up even one of their guys from the minors. Um, you know, maybe Yari might be a good guy to bring up. I mean, I know they, they may not have a lot of depth of that position, but statistically, they'd be better off to have a young goaltender uh, who can gain some experience and maybe work on and get some improvements instead of an older goalie like Niemi, who was just flat out terrible. The next time the Penguins feel like they need to put Niemi into the net to give uh, to give Murray a rest, you know, might, they might want to just consider playing six skaters the whole game and play with an empty net. It really wouldn't be any, any worse. And at least with the high-powered offense of the Penguins, they might stand a better chance of win. Tell me, what do you think? What should the Penguins do with their goaltending situation? Obviously, Niemi doesn't really deserve to be starting. But at the same time, Murray needs a rest once in a while. So leave a comment down below, let me know what you think the Penguins should do. So if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen so you don't miss any future videos. And to the left of your screen, you'll see one of our latest videos that you can watch next. So click sure you click that button as well and keep watching Top Shelf Hockey.